I thought today we could do a little bit of watching what we can't have. Of course, that means that today we are going to be reacting to inside a $100 million oceanfront mansion in Malibu, California. And before we get into that, I thought, okay, $100 million in Malibu, sure, I'm, I'm sure it's a pretty nice house. What's what's a reasonable number then? Reasonable in quotes. I was like, let's just see what a million dollars gets us in, in Melbourne. Why not? A million bucks should be a lot, right? We should be able to get a fair bit. I, I spent maybe 10 minutes on realestate.com and found these absolute bangers. And uh, first up, we've got... Uh, 70 Pearson Street, Brunswick. Definitely looks like something straight out of San Andreas. You know, this looks like <laughs> CJ's house. And, and on a main road too, which is great. The first room, there's a traffic light right there. So you got a perfect view outside. But yeah, moving on to the bathroom. Wonderful tile selection they've chosen here. Even down to the loose toilet roll at the bottom of the toilet and the black mold growing in the actual shower itself. Even down to the sink that is sideways. I only just noticed that. Why, why is the sink, why is it facing that? way. Moving on, it's got another room here, a perfect speaking vent with a little boy that lives in the attic. He can whisper to you at night time, which is nice of them to include. And another view of the traffic lights and also the power lines. So you can always just make sure you are getting a direct feed of power to your house, which is good. How much do we reckon that this place is going to be? The suburban median for this area is $1.2 million. Uh, next up we got... <laughs> 21 Lalor Street, Port Melbourne. I don't know if this counts as a house. Really great location. Spacious, open floor plan. And that's that's all we have in the crack alley behind it. This is going for a modest auction. Okay, modest auction uh, with a suburban median of $1.7 million. So we only need $1.5 million for a loan if we've got obviously 341,000 saved. So that's all good. Good to have something to look forward to. Five West Bank Terrace. And this is looking promising. Near the Melbourne Girls College, which is good. If you're like, you got kids or you're a tradie looking for your next girlfriend or something like that, it's good to be right next to the Girls College. The previous owners of this house took one look at a pool table and said, can we do that but put it in a house? Who owned this? This house before died right there and they, they say that on a full moon's night you can catch her still sitting in that rocking chair looking out into the veranda beautiful what the fuck is this what is why is the is this a kitchen there's got to be more to that there actually there actually has to be more to that just for a, just a casual 2.9 million dollars estimated repayments per month is a nice easy sum of twelve thousand six hundred dollars a month if you've got half a million dollars in your savings and you take out a loan of 2.3 million. But anyway, enough of that. We've done enough to crush our souls on what we already can't afford. So why not move over to something that we most definitely cannot afford in 10 lifetimes? Let's take a look at inside a $100 million oceanfront mansion in Malibu. This is what it's all about. What? I thought this was, I thought they were talking about an oceanfront mansion. This is what it's all about. Standing in a casual suit, sand in my hand, while I stare at the sunset. This and $100 million mansion. Wrap around floor to ceiling glass. Dude, it's got an NFT, bro. You didn't tell me it came with an NFT. Dude, it's, it's bored ape. Well, now that you say that, then fuck. I mean, now I can see why it's worth $100 million. You could you could have just told me that it had a Bored Ape NFT and I would have been sold. Really kid-friendly fireplace. <laughs> Where's the handrails, bro? The handrails. Oh, no way. Dude, they got, they got the Bentley roof inside as well. That's sick. I love the fact that we've got at least 40 down lights in the one room. Why are there so many lights? There's actually no need for these lights. Instead of just getting eight down lights, you got 31 watt lights. Just the, the lowest power watt, like lights you could possibly get and just put a heap of them there. I don't think this, this isn't a, is this a cinema room? Is that what he said? I started our tour with the screening room. The screening room. Sorry. Hey, bro. It's not the cinema room, all right? It's the fucking screening room. Okay. This is the fucking worst couch to watch movies on. I'm hoping it folds out. I'm hoping this man sits down on it and shows us how it folds out. Because right now, what is there to screen when you sit on this side of the couch? Where are you looking? Stone fronts for the cabinetry. Pretty cool. This is where we have the first thing. That is nice. Steel column and this floating Why? What the f what is this? He says it like it's like a obvious feature. He's like, oh, we got the sink, the bench, steel column there, cupboards. What the f hang on, go back. What do you, steel column? For the cabinetry, this is where we have the first sink. 
steel column. Yep. And the of course. Shelf no, of course. Mikey, yep. a... Steel column and floating shelf that you can't fucking reach because it's in the middle of the giant ass, de like the giant, what the fuck is it? Bench. The bench thing. Look at the brass inlays. I've never. The brass, seen this the brass inlays before. are nice. The brass inlays are nice. Is this hard to install, or do you just kind of like chisel these pieces out for the inlays? That I don't know. I'm like, assuming. Um, I'm actually a fucking real estate agent, Barry. Why? Why would you ask me that? Why would you ask me such a stupid fucking question, Barry? Okay, I'm selling. I didn't fucking build a house. All right, don't ask me questions that I don't know the fucking answer to. Okay, I just pointed at a fucking steel beam and pointed that out as if it was a normal thing. Okay, do not. Do not ask me questions. CNC maybe? Maybe they like cut slits with a uh, sauce. Yeah. And what are you talking about? Uh, yeah, maybe. Why are they talking about how they did it? This guy has no idea. What are you talking about? And then they just inlay it in. Yeah, looks really nice. Dude, this guy, the smug face he had at the end there, he's like, ready? And they just inlay it in. Yeah, looks really he's like, yeah, whatever. I know. I know that they use the saw thing and they, um, in, they inlay it, obviously. I just think that's Look at weird. that glass leg. For the rest of the countertop amazing to support it yeah i really like that what are you talking about dude he thinks he's an expert he said saw once about the inlays and now he's he just reckons he's the you know he designed this but he built this place the glass leg to um you know to support it the glass you know the glass to hold up the marble the heavy marble bench top yeah we just it's the glass leg i mean i love the handles and how <laughs> sharp the cabinetry here is what that's not a good thing. I love the, how the, oh my fucking God. He's like, how, uh, <clears throat> how sharp the cabinetry is. Oh my God. Can we, I think I might need to go to a hospital. Luckily we have a hospital wing in this a uh, hundred million dollar house actually. So we can actually just go next door and get my finger stitched up. So it's all good. We have, I believe two ovens, two microwaves, espresso maker. Damn, that's cool. That is cool. Right in the middle there. And you get to stare at yourself first thing in the morning while you wait for your espresso. Just before you've done anything. Just giant bags under your eyes. No face masks, no shower, hair everywhere. Just waiting for your espresso. Like, fuck. I can't believe I spent $100 million on this fucking house. <laughs> it's only $100 million. It's good. Yeah. You would hope it came furnished, right? You would hope it came furnished with some appliances, but I've yet to see any appliances, bro. That looks absolutely gorgeous. We actually have a drawer here, nicely flush. Oh, very and sharp, yeah. We have the countertop here. It has a built-in drain around it. Oh, it's super contemporary. It's that's sick. For when I spit my toothpaste into the fucking middle of it, and it just stays there. And I also love how it's completely flat. So when I turn the tap on, the water sprays everywhere, like back onto the backsplash of the mirror and onto the ground and all over me. But it's cool because then it, it drains down the sides, which is pretty sick. It's kind of cool. Let's go back to the kitchen because on the other side, we have the dining area. Beautiful stone table with Damn. glass legs. That is some American psycho soulless architecture right there. You are an evil James Bond villain if you live here. It doesn't even have like a plant in the middle. Look, it has nothing in the middle. Custom carpet, and then you have these views. Unironically, view's pretty good. Infinity pool, kind of dope. Not really a beach though, is it? It's sand, and then it goes onto a grass embankment, and then there's the water. We can hear the waves right now. This is crazy. That's cool. That is really cool. Hearing the waves would be sick. I also love this just here for Dobby. This is where Dobby eats. At least he gets plants. <laughs> this is this is Dobby's dining room right here. The main house is situated on a What the fuck is this? What is this? A hundred million dollars and you live next to this actual crack den. This is not the beach. Like it's rocks, man. This is like if you get like caught in a rip in like Bondi Beach and then <laughs> the rip like sends you crashing towards like the rock wall. Like that is just not that's not a beach. That is not good. I don't think that is is that the get I think that's the guest house on the left. I'd be fucking pissed off if I was in a guest house and that's what it looked like and my fu the fucking host was living in here like a James Bond villain just staring out into the ocean, dick and balls in the air right there. We ah. up the land here to 1 acre. There you go. Now a future spa edition. Of course. You know, because 100 million dollars doesn't mean you get the whole house. It's not complete yet, silly. It's not finished. 100 million dollars. No. <laughs> Did they run out of money to furnish the house and finish the renovations? I'll let you decide. That's the Pacific Ocean. It's incredible. It fucking sure is. 
Yep. Okay, I'm so excited. Dude, this, that's the ocean. Not just any ocean, the Pacific Ocean. Okay. Ring a bell, biggest fucking ocean in the world, right there. You, you could just murder your wife and no one would ever know because you could bury her under the half built spa house or you could just dump her in the ocean. My the God. What? What next? Again, I love this L shaped couch. Okay. Two stone coffee tables. Bro, the, are those brass inlays? Dude, how do you reckon he did that? How do you reckon he did the brass inlays? And before we move on, I want to mention one more thing. Obviously, it's a very tasteful home. So, okay. Subjectively, a very tasteful home. Do not put words in my fucking mouth, buddy. Look at it. We got the sliding doors. We got the brass uh, inlays, obviously, cut with a saw. We've got uh, the beach right there. You can murder your wife. The original house was built in 1991. This property went through a major remodel that was completed only a few weeks ago. Ah, major remodel completed a few weeks ago. Tells me major remodel ran out of money, hence why the spa isn't complete and they want to sell it because they need their money back. I know we saw the first steel column in the kitchen. There's actually another one. Oh, it's a steel column. There's Bro, it's the steel column. The, the reason they have these columns is the fact that they retrofitted the house mm. with steel structure and they mm. opened up all the walls. You'll see here the steel beam just going around here. And, and it's funny because the actual reason for those steel beams is because there's a second story to the house and without the steel beams, the entire house would collapse. Um, so that's why, that's why they're there. It's kind of a feature of the house, have steel beams if you don't want your house to collapse. And the beauty of having steel as well is um, it's really great being next to the ocean because the ocean is actually really good for steel. It makes it like the rust makes the steel stronger. Like salt water is really good. So that's good. It's great. Actually, the best part about this home, actually. It's okay. The, the ocean will fucking take back Malibu before the steel rusts anyway. So it's all good. This door right I don't mind that. It's pretty nice. I've seen this before. This is I don't mind this kind of dealio i think it's nice i actually don't mind this stuff like the marble because it's like marble it kind of almost looks like a salt rock i'm gonna lick this thing the fabrication here is just breathtaking i had to take a moment to soak it all in i mean they use this stone to fabricate the sink fronts then they have the brother is loving saying the word fabricate he says saw once and this this guy's just going on I've gotta say i love the color palette in this room no you don't you don't. Stop lying. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to the camera. You are a liar. And if you are not a liar, you are, you are misguided. We have some of the orange tones. Then you look at the other side. You have two very modern chairs with an orange side table. That These are casted plastic orange chairs from Ikea. Also, why do you need two chairs in a bedroom? Is this for you while you're getting cucked? Do they design this house for Sneeko? Where you just sit there while you watch your... Where you just get cucked by your wife, like right in front of you. You just get to observe. And we have a full bathroom here. That's nice. That is nice, dude. You can tell a nice bathroom from the size of the shower head. The richer you are, the larger your shower head. And that's just a fact. And it's really great because having the toilet and the shower with just a clear glass here, I think is really great because while I'm taking a shit, I can watch my partner in the shower at the same time and she can watch me. So like she watches over me and we feel safe together. Like, I think that's really good. Okay. And this door opens up to the second guest suite. What now, the is fuck like is this hotel room vibe? What is this? Dude, I know that people that probably make enough money to afford a hundred million dollars for a house, you know, they're probably traveling a lot. So is that why it's designed like a fucking hotel? Because they spend majority of their time in a hotel room? Like, well, we want to make you feel at home. And obviously because you're barely ever home because you're out making so much money, we decided to make your home just look like a hotel. So you just, you know, you always feel like you're in the same place. Picture selection of this house, so tasteful. It's not! Dude, stop lying to yourself. TV's nicely... No, it's not. This is a tiny TV for a giant fucking wall in the corner of the wall. And and look, let's be honest, mate. Very modern. Where's your... Again, the bed is all the way in the other room. There's no way in fucking hell you're going to be watching the TV from your bed. Hey, babe, can you put the subtitles on? I can't hear the TV. Yeah, no worries. I can't really see the subtitles either. You're not going to be sitting here watching TV in the most uncomfortable chair you've ever seen in your life. I actually want to take everybody this way so we can take Oh, away. God. Stop the with the flowers on the wall, bro. Is this stunning stone vanity. Stop. It looks Stop. absolutely gorgeous. I don't even know where to begin with the details. I don't know either. Beautiful countertop. And then they use the same material to fabricate this sink. Holy shit. This sucks. This blows so much, man. To the countertop. This is a hundred million dollars. 
motor. Oh. Yeah, motorized. Pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. I actually take back everything I've ever said about this house. Motorized drawers. That is cool. To be so handicapped that you can't open your own drawers. Dope. You know what's crazy? They don't have bidets. They have motorized drawers. They do not have bidets in any of the toilets. A hundred million dollars and you don't have bidets. Well, actually, we don't have any toilet paper in this house because once you take a shit in the toilet, you can actually just 15 meter walk to the ocean and you can just wipe your ass with the sea salt of uh, Malibu. Motorized. Yeah, motorized. That is sick. Cool. That is sick. Insanity. What happens when the power goes out? Can you still open it? Or does the motor just lock? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Let me in. Let me in, bro. I need my baby oil. I need my moisturizer. And uh, on the other side, you have your glass walk-in shower with the rain head. I say glass because not only it's glass on this side, it's glass on the other side as well, which is why we're going to be able okay. to see it from the bedroom. What? It's right there. That way, when you're showering, you can just enjoy... That way... <laughs> that is not what it's for. This is for when you have hired the six prostitutes to all have sex in the fucking shower and you can watch from the bed. That's what it's for. Or vice versa. It's when you're in the shower and you're watching the six prostitutes on your bed to make sure they don't steal anything. That is what that fucking glass is for. I feel like as someone like myself- That's kind of cool. Loses his keys and wallets all the time. I would just stack everything there. My this guy's just speaking for the sake of speaking. Like, I, I'm sorry I'm being like really mean and negative. What are you saying? As a guy that loses my keys and wallet all the time, it's really great to have this offset design on the bed. You know, like I just put all my stuff just right there. Yeah, dude, that's what a side table's for. Straight up, bro. I don't know if you've been to a lot of normal houses. Side tables usually don't look like this. They're actually, they're usually actually slightly bigger and have drawers to put your stuff in. At least one. Bro, it, my house has no furniture. I mean, sorry, it's very contemporary. I just have nowhere to put my keys and wallet. So I lose, I just don't have anywhere to put them. Oh, I love it. I love the design. I do, I do actually think this is like kind of a sick design, but I just think that what he is saying to justify it is the most like salesman marketing stupid bullshit. That's all. I think it's really great in this house that they've included a bed because I always find when I get tired, I don't know where to lie down and to sleep. And so it's really nice that they've included a bed here for you to lay down and close your eyes on. You know, I usually just stand in the corner and then power nap until I'm ready to wake up. So it's a really nice touch that they uh, included that here. Shit. Fountain. So knowing that there's a fountain here, could we actually hear the ocean before when he was like, dude, look, you can hear the, you can hear the ocean from here. Was that just the fountain outside? Listen to, to the beautiful sound of patio, the ocean and, seamless floor transition, and the fountains going 24 seven. Dude, the rust has already set in. The, the rust has actually already set in. That's hilarious, bro. This house got finished construction last week he said, and the lights outside already have rust. Yes! Sweet, $100 million this is sick. Steel beams holding up the entire second floor. Yes! As you can see here, they actually installed an entire so ocean this for this house. Can you imagine starting your day like this? I cannot. There's people all around us. Can you imagine starting your day like this? I cannot. I will never afford a house like this. It's so far out of the realm of reality, I can't even imagine it. Imagine if this house was... Oh, dude. Another bored ape, bro. I can't keep doing this. There's no way. Why is there another NFT here? We have the main staircase bringing us to the second oh. floor landing. Hardwood this house storage. sucks, man. This house High sucks ceilings, so fucking bad. Above, ton of natural light coming in. And on this I side, like the natural light. That's sick. That's cool. Wing. We have three guest suites. But before we check out the Where's the panic suites, room? I to bring everybody to the den. I gotta talk about... Do they skin a Yeti for that couch? Why does it look like that? They look really comfortable. I'm gonna try them out. Yeah? Very comfortable. It's a weird thing to say, but it looks Shut like... Shut up, bro. Go on, try them out. Yeah, super comfortable. Mm -hmm. That's sick. No, it's so bro. I love that. It's sick. Then we have a board ape painting here. I think it's a cool touch. It's clever. I like it. It's clever? Yeah. What is clever about a board ape, bro? I like it. I like this bored ape. It's good, man. It's clever, genius, smart, handsome, funny. Sorry, I was just describing myself. The painting's cool too, though. I mean, they could have easily put the cabinetry here, call it a day. No, they couldn't have. They could not. <laughs> they could not have just put the cabinetry here and called it a day. Called it a day? What are we looking at? It's a fucking wall of nothing. Yeah, bro, we could have just, I don't know, bro. We just could have called it a day, man. Called it a day. You know, just, just a bench. And a wooden wall. That's that. So 
call it a feature wall, dust your hands off, and uh, and that's that. Instead, he also brought the Patagonia here. That wasn't enough, they also brought it to the walls, all the way to the bottom and the ceiling. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's and not I selling me, bro. A refrigerator drawer right here. Not motorized. So Are they sharp? It has its own full it's not even a king. It's I know, really dude. Did not talk about the vanity oh, I like this. They're okay, so okay. Look this is nice. <laughs> Why is the tap sideways? Maybe it's just a million dollar house thing. I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand it because I don't live in a million dollar house. Because that house we saw in Melbourne had a sideways tap. And here we are again with the sideways vanity tap. What's left? I don't know. Is the primary bedroom $100 million? Just remember that $100 million. Creed, it's an incredible space. No, there's a fucking another NFT. Oh my god, I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this, bro. Yeah, my favorite room is definitely the bathroom. The yeah, enjoying their life, doing their thing. Yeah, pretty much. Awesome. That's pretty much the only one I, like I could tastefully there. pass. Just I can be here, I don't need anything else, I don't need entertainment, I just want a chair. I just want to look at the waves. Stop making excuses for this, the fact that there's no furniture. I don't need anything. I don't need a TV. I don't even need cabinets. I just need, I just need the ocean. We have another board ape. There it is. There. It's the third one. Like I knew it. And moving on, oh, we dude. have the bed. Now the bed looks... Okay, okay. Straight off the bat, I actually, I like, I like the color scheme and, and the bed frame. That's pretty dope. Is that a TV that comes out from under the bed? Cause that would be, that would be sick. You have nothing in front of it. Massive picture window, two doors opening up to the balcony. Mm -hmm. So from mm -hmm. your bed, you just enjoy these. Yeah. Views. I love the emptiness. But if you want to watch a TV right underneath it, push up a button. Dude, it stop it. Show me. Right in front of your bed. Okay. I think is a very clever touch. Okay. That is sick. I actually, I would like that for my own house. $100 million though. I know this may seem simple, but it's a nightmare to fabricate. And every time I see one of these, I'm like, I have to speak about it. You know? How the fuck would you know? He acts like he's the one that does the fabrication. I know, like, it's just a fucking... You have no idea how much effort goes into each one of these things. You have no idea, so I just feel like I have to speak about it. I have no idea either, but I just, you know, you, you just, you have no idea. That was not, this is not worth $100 million. This is not worth $100 million. And don't forget, this home is available for short-term rentals, and you can find more information in the description of this video. Let's have a look. The description of the video they reckon contact information they just that all they give you is an email and that's it that's all they give you his favorite books oh what are his favorite books of course it's power and laws of human nature oh my god bro this tells me this man would be insufferable to sit down and have a conversation with one of his favorite books is seduction the art of seduction 48 laws of power and the laws of human nature so this guy is a professional gaslighter as well which is uh, just awesome to be it's something that everyone i think aspires to be um, at some point in their life. Why do you think I wear such a tiny beanie all the time? America's greatest deal makers. This is literally every book you can possibly buy on manipulating people and getting people to like you. <laughs>